Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create a LinkedIn bio web page to help you drive traffic from your socials, track and analyze any clicks and grow your following. So first you're gonna wanna begin on the simplified homepage and then use this LinkedIn bio button. You'll then be brought to this page where you'll see all of your existing LinkedIn bio profiles. The wonderful thing about Simplified is that you can create multiple profiles. So if you're managing multiple teams, this is a great tool to utilize. To create a new LinkedIn bio, come to the upper right-hand corner of your screen and use this new LinkedIn bio button. So first we want to establish our unique link. I would recommend using your business or brand name here, but you can use any name that you'd like. Once you've filled that in, go ahead and use this yellow claim link button. Next, go ahead and type in your profile name. Once you've entered your name, go ahead and use this camera icon to either upload an image from your device or browse your simplified media library. You can use all these different buttons here to make adjustments and customize your photo to your liking. Once you've made all your adjustments, go ahead and click finish. Now you can either download this image or use this image as your profile picture. Wonderful. Now go ahead and click continue and congratulations, your link is now live. And now we're gonna fill out a little bit more information to add to our LinkedIn bio. So you can copy your link now if you wanna use it as is, but we'll be able to copy it later on once we filled in all of our information. So I'm gonna use this little X arrow. And the first thing I wanna talk to you about is adding links. Go ahead and click this add social link button. And here you'll see this menu with tons of different options to include different links to any social media channels that you have. So I'm gonna add my email. I'm also gonna add my Instagram. And here you actually wanna include the link to the URL of your profile rather than typing in your handle. When you're adding these links, you'll see this little icon here. You can always click this to either browse the icon library or browse our media library or even upload an image from your device. Once you've added your link and title and added a photo, you can go ahead and use this save button. Now let's come down to this next section and I wanna talk you through other links. Other links allows you to drive traffic to a specific web page. So for example, on my website, I have a health assessment quiz that I'd like to drive customers to directly. So I'm actually going to include a link directly to that page. I'm gonna continue doing this with a couple of different links. You can add as many links as you like or none at all. Now that I've included these links, you'll also see these orange toggle buttons appear. You can always turn these off and on if you want to temporarily remove it from your link in bio. So now that we've talked about links, let's move on and talk about this appearance tab. This is where you get to have a little fun and play with the design of your link in bio. You'll see these pre-designed themes already there for you. So you can choose from one of these or you can scroll down and customize the appearance of your link in bio to your liking. You can choose the background color, either a solid color using our color wheel here. You can choose a gradient or you can even upload an image. You'll also be able to adjust the color of your text You'll be able to select the style of button that you want, as well as the button background color and the color of the text on the button. If you scroll all the way down, you'll have some advanced options where you can control where you want your social links to be, whether at the top or the bottom. You'll also have the ability to hide the share button and hide the simplified logo if you'd like. All these changes that you make to your link in bio will save automatically, so you never have to worry about losing any of your work. Now that we've talked about appearances, let's move on to the settings tab. Here you'll see your profile name. You can always make adjustments to that. And you'll see this little bio option where I would include a brief statement about what your brand or business offers. Once you've done that, go ahead and click save. And you can always make adjustments to this bio and profile name here. Here is also where you'll be able to change your profile picture if you would like to do that. Scrolling down, you'll see this next option for SEO. Here I would include SEO keywords that will help boost your profile searchability. Once you've done that, go ahead and click save. And again, you can always make changes to this at any time. 
If you continue scrolling down, you'll see this Google Tag Manager where you can include your Google Tag Manager ID if you'd like. Below this, you'll see the danger zone. This is where you can permanently delete your link in bio, so just be very careful with this because you cannot undo it. Lastly, let's come to this analytics tab. So the goal of a link in bio is to convert followers into customers. These followers can discover your highlighted content and then easily engage with your brand or business. And this analytic page will help you track clicks on those links that we entered right here on the first tab, both your social links and your other links. You'll see that we'll have our links and our social links. And it will also give you information about page views. You can see a set of data based on your preferred date range by using this button up here, either using presets of seven days, 30 days, and 90 days, or coming to this custom option and then selecting your exact preferred date range. Now that we've talked about analytics, let's talk about sharing this link in bio. So. You can use the share button in the upper right hand corner of your screen to copy this bio and then paste it anywhere. And anytime you paste this bio somewhere and someone clicks on it, this over here is what they are going to see. So the way Simplified has this set up is that you'll always have a preview of what your link in bio is going to look like. You could share directly on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Telegram, and email by using any of these buttons here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'd love to hear from you in the comments and check out our other tutorials to see how Simplified can help you with your social media every step of the way. See you there.